Hello, everyone. This is Akata Vesta again. Thank you for joining us in the Rose of Venus. Today, I have a sister from our Galactic Astrology Group. She is um, in Sweden. Her name is Olsa. Do I pronounce it correctly? <laughs> yes, it's all right, yeah. <laughs> And um, oh, I find her so interesting. She is um, very creative, artistic, and um, later on we will talk about a painting that she has done in the early stage of her spiritual journey that how we, by seeing a picture, painting, and get into within us in meditations, in contemplations, and um, now she is also um, with her creativities and it brings her into um, jewelry design with uh, crystals, messages through crystals. And, um, and our recording at this moment is literally um, conjunct. Her son in Sagittarius and her ascendant in Germina. So, um, I think that is a uh, very good timing and let's present Ozer. Hello Ozer, thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. Yeah, so how do you feel today? That So, that is actually your birthday. No, 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 not, not today, no. Um, I, I have my birthday 8th of December, so it's a, a few weeks left, but but the sun is just passing Going into, into yeah, Sagittarius yes, now, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, uh, square to Saturn and uh, uh yeah, good. Square uh, to Saturn. Lot is at going this moment. on, ah, uh, sorry, a square to Saturn at this moment, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we have a lot to say about Saturn, right? And uh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. I would like to start by. Maybe you can share the paintings that you have, so you can like explain to us how you get into the painting and the meaning behind this blue being, and that is some energies that we are feeling ever since since november of of uh of this blue beings presence yeah yes okay yeah. So. so here she is um i have been painting for a long 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 time and when i i worked uh, with the uh, addictive people 25 years ago i sometimes let them uh, paint if they couldn't express their feelings they could say oh I have something in my chest or in my stomach and oh will you paint it please and can you talk to the painting instead of the lump in your stomach or, or whatever and I also started to to paint like that myself uh, but this once uh, came so I have been a lot of soul work I do something called soul body fusion and that is to connect uh, to your higher self or your soul and to bring it into to you to your body to be more in in touch with your heart or or your soul purpose and they start coming um, by accident. You see, my technique is to splash a lot of color on, on a canvas. And I took take something back and, um, uh, and I, oh, there is something. And then the picture comes through. So this one is the only one that has come to me before I started to paint. One morning I had two blue eyes in front of me and 
I was called to, to go to my working place and start to paint this one. And um, I call, um, the, um, I did uh, 44 paintings uh, and I call them the avatars of the soul because my idea is that we, um, our soul is infinite and we have avatars in other dimensions on other planets, inside other planets. And I am also an avatar of my soul. I mean, the manifestation, incarnation of the greater soul. Uh, so she came, other, others came through and I painted and I painted and I painted and I healed inside. But also I invited friends to come to meditate with the pictures with me mm. and they had also lovely journeys in the, in the meditations and and there were people dead to take new steps and and uh, uh, have insights and and so so forth so it, they have been wonderful so i have a deck now um so um they are used by people um well as we all do we we take a pull a card and 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 uh, have a message coming through but this is through meditation i don't have a message ready or i don't say that she comes from pleiades or or Arcturus or or wherever because you may have a Pleiadian connection to her, but I get something else. Yeah. yeah. I think like just yesterday, I have a reading for a girl. She's around 21, 22 years old. And I believe with her reading, I have literally need to find a new way because every, my, 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 past reading to if I say I have um a sort of um normal practice doesn't work on her mm -hmm. and I need to really tune in and to feel into her instead of just looking at the chart or either the natal or the galactic I really need to tune into her and put everything away mm -hmm. she has a very um difficult uh, birth uh, transition from the other world to here and and she has also like these blue beings was talking to her while she was a little girl and she asked me who do you think those people are okay hope mm. those things and what, what came to me is like we as a human we need to categorize. This is mm -hmm. Pleiadians. This is Arcturus, mm -hmm. and this is Sirius, or or Lyra, or Orion. But the thing is, when these beings with their high dimension, they could appear to us in whatever form. Yes, and they appear to us in a form that we feel comfortable. If that is a benevolent beings, right, and they want to be of assistance, of a, of protection, so they show in a form that we might feel okay. That especially to a little girl, not to scare her with this connection, these communications, this, and I say I don't think we should put a name on it. Mm -hmm. No, it could be a collective. As far as we know, but when you know that they are here as a positive energy and you feel good with that, yeah. my intuition, would be, looking at her chart, I would say, yes, they could be a tourist, but it really doesn't <laughs> And yeah. um, and I think like with your painting, it's like that. Like when I look at it, well, I think someone just can go through those eyes. 
Mm. Like really make a journey into it. I can't talk my eyes off it. It, it, it was so captivating. Mm -hmm. That is my experience as well. And not always um, uh, the connection is in the being, but something in the background or just in the belly or mm. the eyes. So it, it, we have we have different portals to to travel through to come to the place we, we need to go. For that day, and next time we, we draw the same card, it is another journey, another message that wants to come through. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You are... <laughs> you are... Somehow we are synchronizing, repeating what I said to her yesterday. Because every moment depends on our state of consciousness. Yes. We understand something else, even by our mood. Like if, if you say, today I, I'm looking out, I see storm and rain, and I feel certain ways, and I look at the card, and I feel certain ways. Tomorrow will be sunny. And I look at it, and mm -hmm. I feel something else. Yeah. And it's the same thing with reading chart, and you as a as an astrologer, and I... I and, Certainly, you feel the same way too. Like in our reading, it's impossible for us to to explain everything of this person, and mm -hmm. it it is even useless. Yeah, yeah. I I think every astrologer must be aware of it is a two dimensional picture of a person, and we are multi dimensional. So th that is a responsibility, I think. Yeah. And uh, um, uh, to be um, uh, hum human, human, no, to be um, to be humble. Oh. Sorry, to be humble, humble, humble. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> in, in, because we can't, we can't possibly know know everything, and we shouldn't. Yes, but also the fact is, like for for instance, what a twenty something years people according to her state of consciousness is what i perceive through the connection with her with, with her higher self that is what mm -hmm. you need to know at this moment yes yeah exactly in mm -hmm. five year times with the same chart i will tell her something else because she has changed you mm -hmm. have shift and 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 she needs to know something that is irrelevant <laughs> years ago mm. and, and, yeah. and that is exactly like we allow ourselves you really shift move with the with the flow with the energies that we are feeling yes so whatever creativities that that we have yeah and that's amazing to to be able to do that and 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 um very Mm. rewarding in a way uh, very very pleasing to yeah. see yeah okay so now um with paintings you still do it or you you concentrate with your jewelry with the crystal that is a tricky question <laughs> uh, i have to say no but uh, i am longing to so I presume that I will mm. in time again. Um, but as you know, I have a, a course to um, commit to and, and uh, that takes the time too. Uh, it is um, um, a lot of processing in, in the, the Galactic Astrology course uh, in ways I couldn't... Uh, foresee at all um, I mean I am a, an astrologer I've done loads of work with, with my own charts and, and <clears throat> what not but this opens up other stuff to, to consider 
Uh, so I have been uh, emailing a bit with Julia and, and uh, um, kind of get permission to to take it easy and and go my way because um i have to uh, and um actually i'm more into the cooper belt and the, the asteroids and and dwarf planets and and that before lyra and sirius and orion and whatnot um so um there is where i put my energy yeah well, I think at the end, we are not competing with anyone, right? We all have our own page and um, we just need to do what we feel our heart feelings like to do yeah. at that moment. And yeah. there's no pushing. Especially, I think, like with galactic astrology, the more that I am doing it, the more I think that is the inner knowing the, mm -hmm. the 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 true connection with mm -hmm. with the cosmos and and with that is the timing also as well we are a human body we, mm -hmm. we we are in this with this in this matrix reality whatever that is it's maya and <laughs> <laughs> and we can't be everywhere even if we want you, some <laughs> some some other part of us is somewhere else. We <laughs> try to sometimes. Is yeah. <laughs> here, and we are doing certain things. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think if that is what that you need to take times and 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 so be it. And and but also I think we we can complete each other not competing yes. but you you have uh, your what your heart goes to and I mine so uh, we can we together we we can make a, a bigger whole yes it is yeah so we don't need to do everything we don't we don't and and <laughs> it's not helping Okay, now I would like to go into what I really want to come here today to um to talk about the jewelry through the jewelry. yeah. First of all, how you start to connect yourself with this creativity? Well, uh, crystals is my first love, of course. Uh, so I had um, crystals in my pockets and in the bra and, and uh, under my pillow and everywhere. And um, um, one day I wanted to do something with, with a certain ruby, actually. Uh, so I asked a friend, uh, can you make something for me? Um, I pay her, of course, but no, no, I cannot. But you can go to Charlotte and, and ask to to um, go for, for a course. Uh, so I did, and of course, there was a spot for me um, right away. And this is 14 years ago. Uh, so I started to do, well, I started with, with gold, actually. See. Yes, uh, I don't know. It's, it's quite hard to see anyway. Yeah, nah, yeah. It, it's a it's a snake. Mm -hmm. mm. Thing up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yes. So this is one of my first mm. first ones. Ah, uh, anyway, um, and then I I had um. Uh, a workshop with with my spiritual teacher. Uh, and I had something on, and, and uh, many people said, oh, I like one of those. Can you make one? And, yeah, I can. <laughs> and I started to to uh, to do them and sell them on, on great meditations or gatherings uh, for for um, that kind of, of things. And that is what I do. I have no shop. Uh, I don't sell... Uh, um, if you if you want to buy from me, you 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 take contact with me through email or, or telephone or so. But anyway, the more I I 
have been doing, the more I have been selling, and the more I have been selling, the more I have been doing. And it is lovely. Uh, and how I start, I, I only buy stones that I fell in love with, or falling in love with. And uh, then I sit uh, in, my, in my working area with this stone, and then I start to bring pieces in. So I kind of, um, yeah, it's like an astrology. <laughs> you put a, a sextile in and a, and a planet <laughs> in and and, uh, and um, sooner or later you have something. And uh, sometimes, uh, oh, it, 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 it isn't enough with one crystal, so I put another one there. And uh, yeah, uh, and I also do um, pearl pearls in in the, the links to to keep it because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I think it, they are not ready if I, if I don't. And you see, this is connected uh, um, in the in the well in two two pieces. Mm. So this is a chrysocolla. Mm. and uh, a clear court mm. so um, I take the the complete jewelry and I take it in my hand and I ask what it wants to say and then I, I write something down and that can be a little bit personal, perhaps, but also sometimes angel dust. And uh, yeah, it's it's different for everyone. And uh, the buyer often are very um, drawn to the words as well, which surprises me uh, because I'm I'm into the into the necklace. But uh, yeah. Well, if, if we, I think we, as we know that all creatures has a life in it and crystal above all has so much energy in it. Yeah. So when a person is open to perceive and your work is channeling, is channeling yes. the message oh, yeah. of this crystal, how she wants to express herself. Through yeah. your, through your hands, mm -hmm. and yes. it, I, 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 I love it. I, I find it so beautiful. Yeah. I think, and and it's something concrete, so we can touch, we can feel into it yeah. with our hands, with our heart, and it's it's one hundred percent of of connection. Yes. Yeah, and again, I, I don't, um, people ask me, oh, what, what is that good for? And I say, I don't know. How do you feel? Oh, I'm happy, or oh, I want it, or, or uh, yeah, that's what it's doing. <laughs> I, I, I don't want to label it, because yeah. it's, it is the connection that it is important. And uh, I have to say that people are coming back because they are so happy with them and want something else to speak through them or with them or for them mm. or yeah. whatever yeah that's... but also other people's response to uh, what they see on them um uh, people that had um, problems with um, um their space people coming too close to them so um, uh, having an a, um, angel aura or something, well, they strengthen their, their spaces so they can keep people away uh, without saying anything. Okay. Yeah, I think crystal. They do their the magic. Power. Yeah, they yeah. do that. For instance, yeah. I bought this ring. Mm -hmm. Um, I live in Florence for for thirty years, right? And this is um lapis lazuli, and mm -hmm. the the 
apart from that, it has um in size. I don't think people. Yes, with the face. That is a, a face? face with a yeah. ray of sun. Ah. Mm -hmm. And it might have very little meanings for someone else. Because I am a Vesta, as a Kata Vesta. And um, from my exoteric study, that's where I got my Vesta from, is our central sun. She is our mother son, mother God, together with Helios, the father God. And um and I was in that period. I still haven't really engaged in studying galactic astrology, but that was in that period that I, I was about to make that shift. And when I got that, I put it on. And I always know. have it when I do this transmit uh do this podcast. Yeah. It just feels so right, so appropriate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As if really like the sun is always with me. Doesn't yeah. matter outside is raining, but the sun <laughs> is always with me. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Yeah. And I think your jewelry, your creation is one of those that speaks to people. Oh, now I can't wait to come back to Europe and <laughs> come to you. <laughs> oh, you will be so welcome. Yeah, please do. Yeah. 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 Yes. So now, if you would like, how you would connect your, your journey from painting from astrology and from some jewelry. If you want to, if you need to draw a line between all that to come to be you today with your spirituality, with your expressions, how would you summarize it? Well, one word, and that is so. Um, my chart is a picture of my soul, and I found that as a teenager in my life. And when I worked with this um, addictive people, it was also soul work to help them to find something else inside of them. Um... And with jewelry, it's joy. Joy and love and stillness. And with my avatars or paintings, it is bigger than that. It is cosmos. It's everything. It's our so <laughs> yeah 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 that's yeah. that's the the line i feel you i feel your word and i think they are just express in bringing out what you represent and um, I would say we stop here because that is just too beautiful to add something more. <laughs> yes. And um, thank you, everyone. And um, I will leave all her contact details and um, in the description box below. Thank you for staying with us. See you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I said thank you.